what I was doing that make me eat. What's that? Though I'm the one who leading the the Africans in that uh, pod. Okay. I was leading them in the when you went to church every day. You start church. Uh, you start the church at seven o'clock. So I'm the one. Me and the one Cameroon guy. You do praises and worship. I'm the one preaching to them, mm. giving them the words. Okay. So when they see me doing that, everybody wants to come to my side. Okay. But I don't have money. I don't have nothing in my account. So they helped you. So they try to help, help me. Help you. Okay. Now, um, so for the young person watching you, who dreams of going through the same journey as you did to get to the United States of America, what would you tell him or her? No, everybody have his. Let me see. He have his own destiny. Mm. When we, we get there, some people make it. Some people couldn't make it. Okay. So once I didn't make it, I cannot tell somebody that if you go, you cannot make it. Maybe so you, you will go, not discourage anybody. I will not me. discourage anybody. You think that they should still go ahead, go through the bush? No, me. me I don't want anybody to pass through. But if you want to go... But you, you can actually say that if you want to go to the United States and settle there, you can go through the right processes. Yes. Make sure you have your document. Because yes. for that $10,000 you yes. had, if you had applied for a visa and gone through the processes legally, yes. you could have been happy. Would you say it is down to the lack of education? Is it ignorance? No. It is not. No. Okay. All right, and so you are back here. How does your family feel? No, they feel bad. My family. How do they feel bad? Bad that they allowed you to go through it, or bad no. that you came, you came back with nothing? They were spending a lot of money and coming back with empty hands. That's what they feel. But at times, most of them are happy that. I'm back safely. So what are you doing with your life now? Now, I haven't started anything. Because when I, since I came, I haven't got anything. So I was managed so that maybe for the next week or for the next two weeks, I have to go out and start something. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans? Hmm, that's difficult. Mm. But I know. I know when I start going out, I know what to do. Then I wish the government to come to our aid. The deportees? The deportees. What do you want the government to do for you? They should come to our aid to help. Help you with what? Whether if there's a job, if there's a job, the government should give us something to do. Though it's painful, because before they can deport you, they have to get your travel documents. And the American, way, they know that after you got denied for six months, if they didn't get your travel document, it's in their law. If they didn't get your travel document, they have to release you. So once I get that six months, they didn't, they haven't got my travel document. I supposed to get released. Did you try to contact any of the Ghana missions? Yes. In the US? And I contacted the consulate in New York. Mm. And they said that they haven't issued any travel documents. Do you know why? I don't know. Because when I called them, that's what, that's what the lady tells me. So they were not helpful? No. So they, they just told that you should pray. They said you should pray? You should pray. For what? I don't know. So, in uh, Ethiopia and the, some, can, some country in Africa, if, you, if they take you back and they don't have your travel document, they will tell them that you should bring this person back. You don't know him. And once you are there, they will release you and get to the street. Okay. So, so you were expecting the Ghana mission to do same after you contacted them in New York. Yes. And they, did it. they asked you to pray 
about yeah. it. Yeah. But they, they didn't try to... I mean, pr we all pray, and I'm sure every day yes. of your life, and then yes. you pray. Yes. Uh, yes. But, so how did you feel that as a Ghanaian, the Ghana mission in, in New York let you down that way? Hmm. It's difficult. But when, I, when, they tell us, when they tell us that we should pray, and they say they are not going to issue any travel document, they didn't give you a reason why they wouldn't issue that. They, no, okay. no reason. So we should pray that they, they release you. They release it. They release me. So when I got that uh, nine months, I just filed an, uh, something to the, to the court where I was detained. So when I filed the uh, the habeas copy to the to the court, mm -hmm. so that they will enforce the eyes to release this person to release me. When I found that, that habeas, habeas copy, they transferred me. Mm. So when they transferred me from that place, and they took me to a different place, and because some people get a form, they mm. get their travel document for the report, but me, I didn't get some. Mm. So once I didn't get my travel document, they cannot deport me. But when I get here, they can accept me. Mm. Even the people where they give me, my information was wrong. Mm. But yes, uh, Ghana, Ghana accepted me. Okay. So that's why I was urging the government to come to our aid, okay. to give us something, All right. to give us some, any work that we will, we will get to get something to feed ourselves and our family, mm. we will be happy. Are you married? I haven't married. But yeah, I, ha I have two kids. Wow. And so your mom was taking care of them or their mom? Yeah, they are, they are with their mom. Okay. How did she cope before we wrap up? Were you in touch? Of course, you either wouldn't share that. The, no, no reason. So we should pray that... They release you. They release it. They release me. So when I got that, uh, nine months, I just filed an, uh, something to the, to the court where I was detained. So when I filed the, uh, the habeas copy to the, to the court mm -hmm. so that they will enforce the eyes to release this person, to release me, when I filed the, that habeas, habeas copy, they transfer me. Mm. So when they transfer me from that place and they took me to a different place and because some people get a form, they get their travel document for the report, but me, I didn't get some. Mm. So once I didn't get my travel document, they cannot deport me. But when I get here, they can accept me. Mm. Even the people where they give me, my information was wrong. Mm. But yes, uh, Ghana, Ghana accept me. Okay. So that's why I was urging the government to come to our aid, okay. to give us something, All right. to give us some any work that we will, we will get to get something to feed ourselves and our family, mm -hmm. we'll be happy. Are you married? I haven't married, but yeah, I, have, I, I have two kids. Wow. And so your mom was taking care of them or their mom? Yeah, they, they, they are with their mom. Okay. How did she cope before we wrap up? Were you in touch? Of course, if you were in detention for 10 months, mm -hmm. you, you had difficulties, but yes. as you were going through South America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's what I was saying. It's difficult. Okay. It's very difficult. All right. Eric, Hello. thank you so much for sharing your story with us. And I wish and pray and hope that everything goes well with you. Um, but definitely, the, your journey uh, through uh, South America to North America mm -hmm. uh, wasn't an easy one. It wasn't easy. Right. It wasn't easy. All right. Wasn't easy. Thank you very much for sharing your story Thank you. on Thank State you. of Affairs. Tonight, brought to you by Cowbell Coffee. Oh, you didn't try my Cowbell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cowbell is for everybody. Enjoy it. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you to Cowbell uh, for associating itself with the show. We'll, have, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.